But I never told myself I couldn't do something. I, I was like, I'm gonna figure it out. I'm obviously known more so as a commercial artist opposed to a fine artist. And so I don't really have the same conversations as a fine artist has. I kind of attack every day basically the polar opposite of what a fine artist would do. You know, I walk in and I'm on my computer and I'm on my phone for the majority of the day. And then when I have time, I hit the canvas. I can like close my eyes and see this whole room in white and black. The world saw this concept, you know, it's called reality to idea and it's taken everything back to its origin, which is pen and paper. Imagine a chair, whatever chair it is, close your eyes and try drawing that chair and look down at that piece of paper and understand what that looks like and then look up and see the same thing in 3D. I think it's the simplicity of it. Some of the most beautiful things in the world are the simplest ideas. It's one of those where you kick yourself and you're like, ah, I wish I would have done that, right? Those are some of the most amazing ideas that there are. Um, and I think this is one of those. You know, I remember posting and people would be like, I did this in second grade. I drew on my, my daughter draws on her shoes like this. I don't necessarily think it's about the color. I think it's about the concept, you know? It's the best feeling. Saying, oh, we should try this, or this might be cool, and then a few weeks, months later, maybe years later, being like, this is what I was talking about. I don't see myself doing anything else right now. I was a firefighter, which is a great job, and I didn't like it. I was a streetwear owner, successful streetwear owner, didn't like it, <laughs> you know? I already lived two, three lives that people are like, what? That was amazing. Like, and that's because I've failed more than I've won. I know what it feels like to be at the bottom of the barrel. I know what it feels like to feel like you're nothing. And I also know what it feels like to be on top of the world, but I've only felt that a handful of times. I think more so of the story I'm trying to tell or show is inspiring other creatives, younger than me, older than me, whatever it is, that some kid from Rialto, California, who didn't go to art school, who wasn't raised by artist parents that you know visited 100 museums every month, is in this position today, and this is what I look like. It's possible.